Hi, Dave Witt here. Just want to share with you for a couple minutes about um, who's Dave Witt. And, uh, you know, what? what's my story? Well, I, the reason I'm sharing this is because there's a lot of you out there that are, you know, struggling. You're, you know, you probably didn't go to, you may not have gone to college. You may not have done a lot of things. And you don't know if you've got what it takes to make it in real estate. And I just want to share with you that it, you know, it, the bar's not that high. You know, I grew up in the middle part of Florida, you know, out in uh, Hardy County. Um, grew up, uh, se it was seven miles to the nearest little store. And uh, just grew up, country kid, you know, going hunting and fishing. Uh, did okay in school, never that great. You know, I could, I could pass the test, but I didn't want to do the, um, didn't really want to do the homework. So I never got really great grades. Um, you know, so my dad died when I was, I think 13, 14. I obviously don't remember exactly when it was. And uh, it was just me and my mom. And uh, I wanted to go to school, wanted to go to college. And I actually took a GED and got out of high school in the 11th grade because I just wasn't learning anything. You know, I was starting to fall in with a bad crowd and you know, it just, it just wasn't working for me. And I was big into electronics. So I thought, you know, if, if I could just get out and, and, you know, maybe go to junior college and take some electronics classes and go that way. And I did that for a couple months and then realized what a burden it was on my mom. You know, we had lim very limited resources. Um, my, uh, we had a 40 acre farm and my dad sold it or we, you know, sold it after my dad died. And, uh, there was this preacher that my dad had, uh, given some of the property to that basically took advantage of mom, but that's another story. And so anyway, she didn't have a lot and I was a really big burden on her. So I thought the best thing for me to do would be to go in the army. So when the army came out, you know, gotten some more trouble, stuff like that. So, you know, I was just the average guy and hit on real estate because I ran across some people in my life and saw the way that, that real estate made their life. It gave them freedom. It allowed anybody to, to build their own future. And you could, you know, call your own shots. You could do your own thing. And so that's why I gravitated towards real estate. And it's always been either the, in the forefront or the background of my life for my whole life is either, you know, I was either in real estate or wanted to be in real estate, you know, and I'd go in and out and in and out based on what, um, the market was doing and, you know, what my life was doing. I had a lot of different businesses and things, but, um, did really well before the crash of 2008 and really took a hard hit then and lost everything. Rebounded 2012, started all over. And here it is, you know, 2018, I was back on top and I'm doing, you know, got uh, lots of rentals, uh, don't have to work anymore. You know, it probably wound up about 2017, we finished that out and realized that pretty quick that, you know, I've, along through my life, I've taken long spans of time off. I took a year off one time and retired and played golf every day for a year. And sadly enough, I didn't get any better at golf. So that wasn't a big uh, high point in my life. And I realized that, you know, I've got the boat, I've got the beautiful girl, I've, you know, got the nice house, decent car, everything's, you know, mostly paid for. Uh, what I, what debt I do have is good debt on real estate. And it's not all about money. It's about helping people. And that's, you know, kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing now, uh, being a licensed real estate teacher, um, still an agent, still a, you know, still a broker and, uh, doing some coaching and just trying to help people out. But I wanted you guys to realize that the bar that's set for real estate is not a bar of intelligence. Not really. The bar that's set is a bar of persistence. 
You have to want it. You have to be persistent about it. If you'll go out and do something in real estate every day, you will succeed in real estate. It doesn't have to be big. If you mailed five letters a day to absentee, you know, absentee owners, or you went through the courthouse records and pulled out, you know, the, the people that had bad evictions and stuff, something like that, and just mail five letters a day. Eventually, you're gonna come across a seller and you're gonna make money, and it's probably not gonna take you that long because, you know, you've got a few people out there that are doing mass mailings and probably doing them poorly. They probably, most of them get thrown in the trash, and very few people out there that are doing really quality, concentrated mailings. But just know that if, if you're willing to be persistent, find something that works for you, you know, something that feels good. If, if you, you know, if you don't think that being a landlord would be good for you, then, you know, maybe you don't want to be a landlord. You know, if you're, if you're a really meek person and, you know, people can talk you into anything, then landlording is not for you. But maybe being a, whole, a wholesaler is. You know, if, I, if you can find a, a motivated seller and get a contract on a property for a good deal, you're gonna make money. And you can do that over and over and over, and you don't even have to have any money on your own. You know, that's that's a, a business you can get into with next to nothing, as long as you, you, know, you play your cards right and just wholesale those deals out and, you know, make a little bit here, a little bit there, and don't get greedy. You'll have people that'll eat out of your hands every time you get a contract. You know, you pick up the phone and call and you're gonna have 30 people show up. So just, you know, that's just what I wanna throw out there to you that it's, you know, the bar that's been raised isn't that high, it's not that hard. And if I can do it, you can do it. You know, I'm just dumb old redneck guy from the middle part of Florida. You know, I'm, I'm not a brain surgeon by any stretch. You know, I've got a, a good eye for real estate, but that came from all these years of, of looking at it. You know, and you'll get that same that same knack for, for what's right, what's wrong, and what things cost, and, and you know, where you can walk up to a house and have a pretty good idea of what it's worth and what it's gonna sell for. That just comes with practice. So, just wanted to say that to you. Get out there and, and do something. You know, just do something every day, just a little bit, you can make it. And stop by and see me at davidpwitt.com. Sign up for the free training, I'd love to help you. You know, send me an email, let me know what you need, and I'd love to help you out. We'll talk to you later.